Newly obtained police video shows what led up to a major fentanyl seizure of nearly a quarter million fentanyl pills last month. This is video from a New Mexico State Police officer's dash camera. It happened back on February 9th. It was around 11 p.m. An NMSP officer clocked this white Dodge Durango going about 125 miles an hour on I-25 South. Now, that eventually led to the SUV exiting onto Cesar Chavez, which is this intersection here. You can see the state police officer trying to pull the SUV over, well, pulled to the right and slowed down a little bit. That car eventually sped off. It wasn't long, though, before a crash happened with that SUV. You can see in this video here, state police pulling up on the crash scene on bridge just west of the Rio Grande in the Hispanic Cultural Center. Video shows that SUV bounced off a building into a cinder block wall and eventually stopped on the other side of the street with heavy damage. You can see some of the damage in these photos here provided by the FBI who would later get involved in this case. Now, police say there were two people inside of this car. They include 22-year-old Jonathan Acuna, a bystander, saw him get out of the car and actually held him at gunpoint before police got to the scene. That's Acuna here. A second person, the accused driver, 42-year-old Edward Valles, he took off from the scene. You can see him in this video here. He was found roughly an hour later on foot. Inside of the car, police found this $130,000 in cash and 230,000 fentanyl pills. The FBI eventually seized the cash and drugs, and they continue to investigate this case. Baez remains in custody on a federal warrant. Acuna was released and is facing charges accused of resisting, evading, or obstructing an officer and leaving the scene of a crash.